Hi folks, today we're going to have a look at a series of tutorials on Photoscape X. It's a free editing software, so I'm going to cover just the basic editing, some cropping and some composition. Let's get started. Welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to show you how to uh, do a very basic edit in an image in Photoscape X. It's a free software, a uh, free editing software. You can get Photoscape Pro, which you pay for. It does unlock a large number of features, but um, for those that don't edit a lot of photos and just want to get the maximum out of a photo and resize it for web use, um, it's a very good software. First of all, you need to have your photo somewhere. I've put a um, folder on my desktop just with these photos that I can choose to uh, edit from. So I'm going to double click on this one. So it opens in viewer. I'll click at the top left here. I'll click editor and um, sorry there we go I've opened uh, this one so there's, there's various options but uh, if you don't have much time uh, you can just click on this button on the right hand side which is magic color you click on it and there we go um, the uh, the image is edited if I push the mouse and I left click you can see that's the raw image with no editing on it I let it go and I mean you know that's perfect for for me I'm very happy with that color and so I can push apply if you want to be more more uh, sort of intense with the images you click on color and then you have a whole lot of options down here where you can individually work on shadows highlights etc um, but for the purpose of this one I'm showing you how to uh, quickly edit your photos and um, one thing you must remember when you are going to use a photo for web you need to sharpen it as well because we're going to resize it it's not always perfect a digital file needs editing so we click on sharpen and this automatic sharpen that comes up um, you can play again with the percentages uh, you can just push apply so there we have a nice sharp image I don't need to crop this image I'm very happy with um, the, the way it is uh, maybe I can go a 2 by 3 crop here um, maybe make it a little bit smaller uh, let's have a look okay for the purposes of this exercise um, and then we can go crop over here so there we have a cropped image uh, we're ready to go with it now we have to save it for social media and I'm specifically going to um, show you how to save it for your WordPress website if you are uploading to a website or if you are going to be um, uploading it to Facebook so we click on the resize button here and we'll make sure it's in pixels uh, I find the perfect width for uh, that is 1920 on the longer side and because we're giving you um, a constrained crop in other words we're keeping it the photo orientation it'll automatically give you that uh, other side um, again sharpen for reduction because when you reduce the file size you're going to lose sharpening so I'll push apply and there we go now um, I have a resized image so what we have to do is we now have to save this image and I'm going to save it as a new file name I've got it in the original um, so I'm going to go um, web um, so it's resized for web and I'm going to push save so there we have uh, the image what I'm going to do is I am just going to undo that undo resize undo crop undo sharpen and um, I just want to um, show you again how we crop over here we going to crop now I showed you that we sharpened the image in this one I'm not going to sharpen I'm going to save and I'm going to save as a new file I'm going to save it as web and I'm going to save it as unsharpened I just want to show you the difference between um, uh, unsharp and then we'll save that there I'll go out of this um, program just click on my desktop and uh, uh, let me find unsharp and the web one I open both of them so this is the unsharpened photo and there's the sharpened photo so you can see sharpening there's a uh, difference there in uh, in the two images which uh, you know if you're a photographer and you want to get the best out of your work that's the easiest way to do it and um, one last thing 
if you are try if you are sort of a little bit uh, pressed for for um, space I'm going to undo uh, I'm going to redo the crop I'm going to resize the image again I'm going to go to 1920 1080 and I'm going to push apply and here where I go save I'm actually going to I've used it 75 percent so if you go to 100 percent you've got 1.78 megabytes now as far as I'm concerned I'm going to resave this to show you um, it's web unsharp um, sorry unsharp large so I'll show you that um, if you look between the the two of these let's pop out of this window and we go uh, large and we look at those two and that is your large and that is your standard so there's no real difference in quality and because it's for the web um, you know it's more than enough um, to save it at 75 percent and have a really nice small image to upload so let us just go back and um, make sure that everybody's happy so um, again you resize you can crop you can use the um, the edit we use the magic color resize or crop so i hope you enjoyed that that's very simple